আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি একটা জিনিস দেখা যাচ্ছে খুব দ্রুত তো আমাকে কিছু স্লাইড ডাউনলোড করা লাগবে তো এইখান থেকে একটা আর এইখান থেকে একটা এই দুইটা স্লাইড বাট দিস সাইটস আর নট প্রোভাইডিং দা অপশনস টু ডাউনলোড দিস স্লাইডস সো দা প্রবলেম ইজ আই ক্যানট ডাউনলোড দিস স্লাইডস বাট আই রেদার আইড লাইক টু টেক স্ক্রিনশটস অফ দিস স্লাইডস এন্ড প্রিন্ট ইট অ্যাজ এ পিডিএফ বাট ফার্স্ট বাট বিফোর দ্যাট আই नीड টু গেট দা স্লাইডস ফার্স্ট সো আই नीड দিস ওয়ান দিস ওয়ান দিস ওয়ান দিস ওয়ান সো আই ক্যান মেক ফুল স্ক্রিন এন্ড টেক স্ক্রিনশটস ফর ইচ অফ দিস স্লাইডস এন্ড then compile it together but i'd like to do it in a smarter way so let's go back so this was the page that was playing the slide i have done this thing uh, for uh, already so i'd like to show it with this one so anyway so this is the page that is uh, showing the slide okay so at this here i'm right clicking on it and clicking on inspect so in any browser you will have this inspect button if you right click on it so uh, right click on anything uh, any uh, empty area so i uh, clicked on this inspect element button so after that uh, i got some weird window lots of uh, codes are inside it uh, so if you are familiar with html then you will see that this html codes is there and the css code is down at the bottom so you are not uh, interested in uh, just a second <coughs> uh sorry uh, so my goal is to download all the slides uh, but in a smarter way so we see we are not interested in css code at this moment so let's take it at the bottom so now <clears throat> if we click on this <coughs> uh this small arrow at top here uh here uh, i can select the element the html element that will have uh, that contains uh, this picture so we see that this element is called image uh, image tag inside this image tag this is slide 5 so uh, it's quite obvious that the next one should be slide 6 yes and so the first one would be slide 1 and the last one should be i think uh, slide something so these are the things these are not loaded but i'd like to uh, copy all those things uh, all together so let us scroll up all these things all these uh, html uh, elements okay so this is the main oh, sorry this is the main one so this one and i'm right clicking on it i'm clicking on copy and copy element the entire element so now uh, i click on my idm and click on task add batch url from clipboard so i couldn't find it sorry why not copy or i should if it is not selected then i should hmm. Let's solve this. Okay, uh, I figured out what was the problem. Uh, if we look closely, you will see that. Let us take the first picture. The address. Let us take a look at the source uh, value of the source uh, attribute. The address is a relative one. But here, the absolute address is being shown. This one. So if we take a look at the next one. তো আবার কল আসছিল আই ম্যানেজ টু ফিগার আউট হোয়াট ওয়াজ দ্য প্রবলেম আমরা দেখতেছি যে উই সি দ্যাট দিস আর দ্য অ্যাড্রেস দিস ভ্যালুজ আর রিলেটিভ অ্যাড্রেসেস বাট দ্য অ্যাবসলিউট অ্যাড্রেসেস শুড বি देयर সো হোয়েন আই এম কপিং দ্য এন্টায়ার এলিমেন্ট সো হিয়ার দ্য আই এম কপি এলিমেন্ট আমি when i'm copying the entire element and if i'm pasting it on a new page i see that this source src have this kind of relative addressing but if we go back to the web page and click on the uh, click on the picture i mean uh, let's click on any picture you see that this one has the absolute address uh, shown and at the top of it the full address like the https player.slideplayer.com but the addresses we have in our text uh, copied is the relative address that means it has the previous part missing so it has the whole address but it it doesn't have the whole address but rather it has the only partial address so if we copy if we want to uh, have the whole address of the picture so let us go back to the web page and right click on the picture then click on copy image address 
right click on the picture and click, uh, click on copy image address so i'm copying it now it's on the clipboard so i'm click on i'm clicking on the uh, notepad where i was here so this should be the structure of the whole uh, link or full address of the 17 pages so slide number 17 would be 17 and slide number 09 should be slide number 9 so in this fashion so i need to um, vary now i need to vary this number only to get the full address so if i copy this one multiple times so i can have it like slide one slide two uh, slide three etc etc but i want to automate the whole thing once again i want to automate the whole thing so i can use find and replace to do this but instead of find and replace uh, let me do this in another way so i'm pressing ctrl c to copy if you have idm installed uh, internet download manager you can have this kind of or any other download manager may might have the same functionality but in some different way but if you use idm i'm, I'm using idm for demonstration purpose so if you use idm so click on this add batch download from clipboard clipboard or click on add batch download so add batch download you will see that the whole uh, url you just copied the entire uh, web page uh, the, the, uh, the entire link of the picture is there and you need to make it like one and two and three and up to 17 in this fashion so let us put a wildcard instead of the number so let us delete the number and put a wildcard that means the asterisk symbol the star symbol on your keyboard so this means that this number will vary so now the numbers starting from 0 to 17 i'm writing 1 7 so 0 to 17 wildcard size is 1 that means the preview the number should be 1 so 0 1 2 but if i make it 2 it should be like slide 0 0 slide 0 1 if i make it 3 so slide 0 0 1 0 0 2 so the, um, the numbers will be always in, in in three digits but if i make it the minimum while case size is 1 so that by default it will take only one space and this number uh, will i mean whenever it will take go to double digit it will go it it will have to but normally it will take only a single place so while case size means the how many places uh, this star this asterisk will take so in this fashion now we, i see that the first file should be this address and the last file should be the, this address so i'm pressing ok now the slides are there now i'm putting all those files in a same uh, folder so i'd like to change the folder to desktop or the previous one uh, green computing downloads gc folder is good so i'm clicking on the Shakal Agarta. Right. Click folder. Now press OK. Then start queue processing. Make sure this uh, tick is checked. Then press OK. The files are being downloaded automatically. Four files at a time. If you want to visit those uh, folder, that uh, right click on the e file then click on open folder so this folder was opened and i see that all 17 files are there so now the next job is uh, uh, the html part ends here thank you very much for watching if you are interested in html now i'd like to automate this whole thing so now i'm going to uh, print these things so i'm clicking the last one first and first one at the very last and by uh, when i'm pressing shift while i'm pressing shift so right click now i am pressing print i'd like to print it as a pdf so one two three four five six but first of all uh, i'd like to have 10 pages first 10 pages only so i'd like to select slide number 10 to 1 first so 10 pages at a time so i'll create two pdfs where the first one will have 10 page the second one will have seven page why i'm doing this i'll tell you the reason later on okay slide 2 slide 2 hyphen 1 save then in the same fashion i'll take slide 17 to slide 11 right click print do the same thing name it like uh, slide 2 2 save 
okay so now i have two different slides that have uh, two different pdf files that have all these slides <coughs> Okay, now my next job is to make these texts selectable. That means to extract that these texts, which is known as OCR, Optical Character Recognition. So there is a website that is called uh, I forgot onlineocr.net or something. So I was watching SNL. Online OCR, maybe this one. Yes. So I'm clicking on login uh, with my username and password. So I'm clicking on selecting file. Go to the specific specified folder that I have created. So select the first PDF. Okay. So I have made uh, uh, 10 pages at a time because this website has a limitation of uh, 10 pages uh, limit so that's why I cannot uh, convert it cannot convert more than 10 pages at a time so that's why I have made it P a PDF that has a maximum 10 pages let's see how does it work okay I think it's done they have converted uh, things to this one download yes okay not bad this picture is messed up let us enable editing view oh, print layout Pretty decent. Okay, can I save it as a PowerPoint text? Mm. <laughs> no. Okay, that would do. So these are the first 10 pages. So I do the same thing for the second PDF, but my free account uh, got uh, over the limit. So I need to create a new account and uh, do the same thing all over again. So now my ultimate goal is to automate the whole thing. To automate the whole thing, entire thing that I have shown, I want to automate this whole thing. I don't know how. Uh, I'd like to have some kind of uh, API or something that will interact with the screen. I heard that there is a uh, library, Python library called Selenium that can interact with the web page uh, as the user that can simulate uh, mouse movement and everything, click and typing. So I'd like to have this kind of uh, interaction, interactive things that, okay, open Firefox, click here, click there. This kind of high level instructions will be taken as the input of that, uh, let's say black box and the black box will give me my desired output. So it's like a, like an assistant of yours, like a personal assistant of yours uh, that is doing the task that can understand what your demands are and that can perform the task or if any requirement is missing it will throw the error that this part I got stuck I cannot do that so you can take care of it and uh, like development of the whole thing you know so this is the basic idea uh, I'm having right now so I was documenting things that's all anyway thank you very much for watching Assalamualaikum